Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Just chilling on the couch, relaxing. But let me talk about the playoffs real quick because the playoffs are really, really interesting. I, I was supposed to make a video about the predictions about the playoffs this year, like just the first round, but I missed it because I was so preoccupied with boxing because boxing got my attention like a motherfucker, man, because I'm loving it right now. But the way I the way I'm looking at the playoffs right now, everything is a go going according to plan to me so far. Except for probably Minnesota and Memphis, but I'm gonna start with that series. I still got the Grizzlies winning in seven games over the Memf over Minnesota, but that shit that series is gonna be tough for Memphis because Minnesota is just as talented as the Grizzlies everywhere. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and plus with the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies are so fucking good and deep. I agree with that 1,000%. But the problem is, the Timberwolves have two stars with with Ant, with Ant-Man and Cat. Both of them dudes can go to fuck off for 30 plus at any fucking moment against the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies have one star, John Morant, but they have a, they have a deep team. But they only have one real star. Yes, the Grizzlies had like a 21 and 5 record without John Morant, but I don't give a fuck about that. This is playoff time. You need John Morant to go to fuck off to beat Minnesota. You're not beating Minnesota if John Morant is playing even average ball. Because even though, like I said, they are great in the regular season, but in the playoffs, that is, that's just not going to cut it. But I still think at the end of the day, the Grizzlies are going to win in game like seven games. I still got them winning seven games. Warriors and Nuggets. I, the series is going exactly the way I expected it to. I I expected the Warriors to win in five games. I didn't see much. I didn't see much competition from the Nuggets to against Golden State. But the surprising thing that's going on right now, Nikola Jokic has been supremely ineffective. He's had zero to no impact in this series. People are going to point to his numbers because he's averaging 26, 10, and 5. I don't give a fuck. He's been completely neutralized. But just like I was telling my homies, like my nigga Jamar Bell, shout out to my boy. But just like I was telling him, if the Warriors make Nikola Jokic a score first guy, it's going to be a blowout. Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jokic is not... A mentally he's not he's not built to be a real real number one option he's not like he's not that type of player like he feeds off of guys getting off for like getting off of him his his uh passes first and then he gets and then he gets going after that he needs to get his guys going for him he's not a take charge type of guy that's why the nuggets need jamal murray for the playoffs Without Jamal Murray, without Michael Porter Jr., the Nuggets are going. The Nuggets are about to get stomped. They getting eight town stomped by the fucking Warriors, and I and it's going exactly where I expected it to. I won't be shocked if it's a sweep, because um, I, it's not a good matchup. It they, they, the Nuggets drew the worst possible matchup, especially with the Warriors getting healthy and rejuvenated at the right time. Man, the Warriors are scary right now, yo. Like that's probably the only team in the West that can give the Suns any kind of competition. The Suns and the Pelicans, I love what the Pelicans are doing. And I st if Zion Williamson does stay there, they have a bright future, real bright future. Because Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum and Valanchunas, that's a nice-ass team. Plus uh, Herb Jones and the young guys they have on the bench, I like I like the what New Orleans is building. They might make a Memphis level jump next year if everybody's healthy. But as for right now, they're getting smoked by the Suns. This this is not gonna this is not gonna be no series. The Suns are gonna sweep them probably in five four games. The Jazz and the Mavericks, that was the series that, that was the hardest to pick. Even if Luka was healthy, I probably would have picked Dallas in seven. But yes, they won last night, but they can't really go to Utah. They probably gonna lose both of those games, and they're probably gonna be going home in six games, or five games, unfortunately. But I respect what Jalen Brunson did last night. He went. He. I would love to have him on New York, by the way, because that's what the Knicks need. But that's another video for another day. 
But man, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then in the Eastern Conference, Philly and Toronto. I know a lot of the media with the the media had us thinking that Toronto could beat Philly in a series. I never thought they could beat the Sixers in a series. They don't have enough. They have a good team. They have a good team. But they don't have enough to beat Philly because Joel and B by himself can beat Toronto, let alone with Tyrese Maxey fucking going off like the way he is. And then you have fucking James Harden facilitating. I'm I've been extremely hard on James Harden for years, and justifiably so, because I don't think he's that fucking good. He ain't no top five shooting guard of all time. That's a fucking joke. Anybody that really knows basketball and have the basketball eye, he ain't no top five shooting guard of all time. But I like the way he's playing in this series. He's facilitating because he sees that Embiid has a mismatch against anybody that Toronto guards him on Toronto guarding him. And he sees that Tyree Ma- Tyrese Maxey is absolutely eating Fred Van Vliet, Van Vliet alive, yo. He's destroying Fred Van Vliet. And I'm a big fan of Fred, but Tyrese Maxey is destroying him badly. But I... I got the Sixers winning in five games in that series. Miami and Atlanta. I know Atlanta looked absolutely awful in game one. Like that was horrible. That was a horrible start to the series. But I think they go I think they can recover and win one or two games at home. But Miami gonna beat them in six. The Heat the Heat got too much experience. The Heat got too much defense of prowess for them. And plus it's a coach it's a coaching mismatch with Nate McMillan and uh and Eric Spolster. Spolster is Spo is just levels above Nate McMillan. It's not even fucking close. Like Nate McMillan had a great run last year, but in all honesty, that was mostly a Trey Young special. Because Nate McMillan ain't that good of a coach. He's just he's just he just know how to push the right buttons when he first get there. But the longer he coaches your team, the longer your team will get exposed. So don't be surprised if Atlanta ain't that good again next year neither, despite having a talented roster. <clears throat> then you have Milwaukee and Chicago. Not much to talk about there. Yes, Chicago game a game a, a good game, but the Bucks I, I still expect the Bucks to sweep them. Then Chicago, Chicago blew their best opportunity to win a game, in my opinion. I expect the Bucks to sweep them. But Brooklyn and Boston, I still got Bro- – I know Boston won game one, but I got Brooklyn winning in six. And I'm still a little – it's still a little shot baffling to me that Marcus Smart won defensive player of the year when he's not even the best defensive player on the Celtics. Like, Robert Williams is way better – I mean, a better defensive player than him. Shit, Jalen Brown's a better defensive player, and Jason Tatum is starting to become a better defensive player. Marcus Smart ain't that good on defense. I don't understand where people make it seem like he's this lockdown defender. Shit, Kyrie gave the the get Kyrie gave the nigga thirty nine. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? Like, he didn't deserve no damn defensive player of the year over no fucking Mikael Bridges or Jaron Jackson or like, come on, man, cut this shit out, bro. Like these media, this media narrative shit need to stop, man. But though that's my first round. That's my uh, that's my picks in the first round. I got, like I said, I got Philly in five over Toronto. I got, I got Boston. I got Brooklyn over Boston in six. I got Milwaukee over Chicago in four. And I got Miami over Atlanta in six. And then in the West, I got Phoenix sweeping New Orleans. I got Dallas. If Luka comes, I mean, I got Utah. Utah in six games over Dallas. Because even if Luka comes back, he won't be as effective. He's going to be limping around with that calf injury. And then what? I got Minnesota. I got Memphis beating Minnesota in seven games because I think that series is gonna go to full seven games. And then, like I said, the Warriors are gonna cook the Nuggets because that ain't much of a that ain't much competition. The the interesting shit is gonna be in the second round because, like I said, I got Brooklyn versus Milwaukee in the second round. I got Phoenix versus Utah, even though I think Phoenix will wash Utah. Memphis and Golden State's gonna be a great series in the second round, and Philly and Miami. 
But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.